now let us come to the next topic that are the different rivers that are found in the central highlands and the deccan plateau let's start with the rivers of the central highlands if we talk about the rivers of central highlands they are chambal which you can see here bitwa and san so these three rivers originate in the central highlands and they flow northwards and join the ganga and yamuna so i hope it is clear they move northwards they join yamuna they join ganga now if we talk about the rivers of the deccan plateau they are godavari then narmada sorry it's mahanadi then kaveri and here it is krishna so mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri these are the rivers which flows in the deccan plateau they rise in the west and ultimately they fall into bay of bengal then in the east narmada and tapi they are the only rivers which flow from the east to west and falls into the arabian sea so here it is narmada and the second river which you can see here is tapi where it is this is tapi just let me clear it this is narmada and this is tapi and these two rivers instead of flowing into the bay of bengal they fall into arabian sea but rest all that is chambal bitwa san all these rivers they flow into the bay of bengal except the arabian sea so or oh sorry except the narmada and the tapi they flow into the arabian sea so these are the rivers that you can find in the central highlands and the deccan plateau so i am going to repeat it again once again i am repeating it the different rivers that you find in the central highlands are the chambal bitwa and san and the rivers that you will find in the deccan plateau they are mahanadi godavari krishna kaveri so these are the rivers that rise in the west and they move you can say they move from west to east and ultimately falls into bay of bengal but narmada and tapi they are the two rivers that flows from east to west into the arabian sea so these are the different rivers that are found in the peninsular plateau or you can say in the central highlands and the deccan plateau so then there are number of waterfalls that are found in this region one of the highest waterfall in india that is jog fall it is located on the river sharavati in karnataka so here in karnataka you will find sharavati river and that sharavati river there you will find the jog fall which is the highest waterfall in india so i hope it is clear to you so revise it again and if you have any doubts please do contact me or message me on my personal number